No significant improvement in the local job market, especially when considering the expectation level set by the South Korean government. Most discouraging is youth unemployment rate reaching another record high. Kim Ji-yeeon breaks down the numbers for us. Korea's employment market remains sluggish, despite the government's execution of its 9.8 billion U.S. dollars supplementary budget bill for job creation. Statistics Korea says the country added 253,000 new jobs last month from a year ago, bringing the total number of people in work to nearly 26.9 million. The number of new jobs remained trapped in the 200,000 range for the second consecutive month, far below the government's target of creating an extra 300,000 new jobs a month. The ministry says a mild pickup on year came on the back of increased employment in the manufacturing and public administration sectors. The number of people employed in the construction, food and lodging sectors dropped. An official from the statistics agency identified the main reasons behind the gloomy figures to the decreasing number of self-employed, the cold weather and Korea's rapidly aging population. Although the employment rate in general has risen, new job gains are mainly from those aged 60 or older, signaling a need for restructuring in the industrial sector to pick up production in the services sector and develop a healthy startup ecosystem. The youth jobless rate in November edged up from a year earlier to 9.2 percent, the highest level since data was first compiled in 1999. The overall unemployment rate stood at 3.2 percent. The perceived youth unemployment rate, as felt by regular people, ticked up 0.1 percentage points on year, recording 21.4 percent, the highest level since 2015 when compared to previous figures in November. Kim Jian, Arirang News.